Thanks for joining me here on part four of this uh, StuMac Mini Telecaster build. Um, in this part, I want to go over actually giving the Telecaster a very nice glassy shine and finish. And then I wanted to change the pick guard from what they gave, because if we're going through all this trouble to make the uh, body all nice and shiny and uh, everything, it'd be nice not to cover it up with this very large white pick guard. Starting off to, uh, on the first step of giving it the glassy shine is wet sanding. And so uh, here's some video of me wet sanding the guitar body and it's a bit of a long process because first, so first of all, uh, you need to wet the sandpaper in uh, this water mixture uh, that has a little bit of dish soap in it to give it uh, some kind of lubrication. But also as you go between each step, you need to dump out the water so you don't get any cross contamination between the different grits of sandpaper, uh, the particles from those grits of sandpaper or anything else that you may dislodge from the uh, guitar body. As I'm doing this, I'm making sure not to press too firmly because what I don't want to sand my way through the finish, end up with any kind of red stuff on the sandpaper in the water. So you do have to press, you know, very gently. Here we now have moved on to actually polishing the guitar with the Stumac medium, fine, and swirl removing compounds. Uh, I could have showed you all three passes of uh, the sandpapering, but that's kind of boring. So just be sure, you know, you go thousand grit, throw out your water, get some more hot water, 1500 grit, and then do the same thing again with the 2000 grit. And then you're at the point where you're ready to use the uh, polish. Polishing, once again, just like the sandpaper, you need to do it very gently. Um, I was using the power drill just to make it go by a bit quicker. If you press too hard, you are going to notice the little bit of reddish tint ending up on the compound pad. Um, and that's not something you really want to do. So be gentle, just like with the sandpapering. Also as with the sandpapering, between the three different types of compounds, you need to switch your pads because you don't want any cross contamination. Each step along the way as I was polishing it, uh, I was removing the pad, getting a brand new pad, and going to the different uh, granularity compound. As you can see here, this is the finished product. As you can tell, it definitely has a nice glassy shine to it. You can see the reflection of the garage door, the open garage door in it, which is really pretty cool. Uh, you know, so this did take a lot of time and work and hopefully your project will come out just as good. I decided since I went through all this effort to uh, make the finish of the guitar really nice and glassy and you could see the grain. You know, I didn't want to cover it up with a very large white pick guard. So I decided I was going to trim it. So the first thing I did was I scanned the existing pick guard and I pulled it into a program on the Mac called Pixelmator Pro. You can see it in this uh, picture over here. And what I kept doing was drawing arcs for the top side uh, till I got one that I felt looked like it would be really good and like and it would work and for the bottom lower horn what I did was I took the template of a thin line Telecaster and I kind of superimposed it and created the uh, lower end that way. To verify it would all be good I printed out this template and I put it on top of the guitar and to me it looked like it was going to work out pretty well. So the next steps were to actually cut it out on the actual pickguard. 
So I used some blue painter's tape to help protect the pick guard, put the template on it, and I used a Sharpie marker to also draw the outline of the template uh, to show where I needed to make the cuts with the router bit on my Dremel tool. With the pick guard now cut out properly, gotta sand it, sand it, sand it, lots of sanding. Started with uh, 220 grit sandpaper, uh, got most of uh, the stuff smooth, and then I had to switch to 400 grit sandpaper to finish it off. And this is what the pick guard looks like, all finished off. It's looking pretty good. Now I hope uh, you guys will hang around for the last part, part 5, which will be the assembly and setup. Thanks for watching.